Well, now that the snakes are sleeping underground in their dens, then I can tell you this tale from the Native Americans of the Southwest. Long, long time ago, when Dog went to live with people, Coyote watched. And Coyote saw that Dog was very well fed, even though Dog, he slept all day. He just played with the children. He went to the canyons with the people and their sheep. And for this, he was given great hunks of meat and bones and tubers and all sorts of good things. Coyote thought the dog should share with him. But when Coyote went to the village to ask Dog to share, Dog was very mean and nasty. He yelled at him, called him names, and, and threatened him with all sorts of mean, nasty things. Well, Coyote went up to the hills, and Coyote was very angry. But Coyote is the trickster, and so Coyote, he waited. <laughs> well, the first hints of spring were in the air when Dog decided he needed a sweat lodge ceremony. Do you know what a sweat lodge ceremony is? No, well, you take sticks and you build a hogan. And then you take mud from the earth and you pat it on to make it airtight. And in this hogan, there are two holes one for the door to go in and out of, and one for the smoke to come out of. Because they build a fire, they put stones in the fire, they take the stones out with a stick when they're nice and hot, pour water on them, and all the steam rises up, and it gets hot, and you start to sweat. Oh, it feels so good. Well, the leader of the dog, he announced that the sweat lodge ceremony would be at the next full moon. Coyote, he happened to be listening, and a great big grin crossed his face. Oh, and he ran back up to his village to talk to his people, the coyotes. And they talked, and they talked, and they talked. And then they decided to gather all the deer hides that they could find. They gathered all the deer hides, and they started sewing. And they sewed them all together. And they sewed until they had a deer hide that was so big it was so heavy, it took three or four coyotes just to carry it. Well, Dog, Dog had been busy too. He cleared the land, he built the sweat lodge, he gathered stones, he gathered firewood, he gathered water. And when the night of the full moon came, dogs from all across the land came, and they all gathered around the leader of the dog. Now, do you know how the leader of the dog is chosen? Well, they choose it by whichever dog has the biggest, the bushiest tail. And all the dogs had big bushy tails then, but this leader had a big bushy tail and a white tip at the top, of which he was very proud. Well, all the dogs were gathering, and it was getting later in the afternoon. And when, the, when they were there, the leader of the dog decided it is time to go in. So they all lined up, and they went semicircular in. They went around in a great line, and they went into the sweat lodge, and it started getting a little crowded in there. And it got crowded, and the tails were getting squished, and their feet were getting stamped on, and, and the dogs were not even in yet. And, and it was just, this was not going to work. So he said, stop, stop, everybody back out. So they all filed back out again. And they talked, and they talked, and they discussed. What could they do? What could they do to fit them all in? Hmm. Well, they finally decided to take off their tails and hang them on branches of the trees that were in front of the sweat lodge. And because they were so orderly going in, when they came back out, they could grab their tail and come get their own tail and come back out. Ah, oh, this was decided. Everyone agreed. So they took off their tails, they hung them on the branches, and they all went into the sweat lodge. And this time, they all fit very well. They even had a little bit of elbow room. Well, when they were all in, they closed the door, and the fire was hot, and they pulled out the hot rocks, and they poured the water on, and the steam rose, and started to sweat, and oh, yes, this was good. Coyote, Coyote had been up on the hillside watching, and as soon as he saw the door come down, they ran off the hill with their deer hide, and they took it, and they unrolled it, 
over the sweat lodge. And then they took wooden pegs and they tamped them down so it was airtight all the way around. And then they ran back up into the hillside. Well, in the sweat lodge, dog was getting nice and hot, but <coughs> it started to get a little smoky because <coughs> the smoke was trapped and <coughs> they couldn't breathe. It was getting hot and it was getting smoky. And later the dog said, open the door, check the smoke hole. And so they did. They raised the door, but the hide was there. They checked the smoke hole, but there was no hole there. <coughs> well, it's getting smokier, <coughs> and it's getting hotter. They decided to dig. Dig, he said. So the dogs on the edge, they started digging, and the dirt's flying, and the smoke is going, and it's getting steamier and steamier and hotter. It's horrible inside that sweat lodge. And finally, finally, they broke out. They broke out underneath the sweat lodge, and they started running, and they grabbed any which tail they could. They didn't even care what tail they got. They grabbed a tail, and they ran, and there was pandemonium, and they were going every which way. Coyote was up on the hillside. He was watching the scene down there. <laughs> pretty funny. <laughs> well, do you know today, even today, the first thing that a dog does when it meets another dog is they go around to the tail and they say, is this my tail? Do you have my tail? Is this my tail? <laughs> and do you know today, you can still hear Coyote when the moon is rising, remembering the scene of dog down below. Yep. <laughs>